episode 11 of the Steak and Eggs podcast. I'm Emma Roo and I'm here with my friends Tectone and Asmin. Apparently Asmin has not slept in a full day or two, but he still showed up. Isn't that crazy? It sure is crazy. <laughs> it is so crazy. You know what else is crazy? This mm. is the second time I've been here this week. Second what? I don't know why. It's because I drove up here yesterday thinking it was Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. I uh, oh, I drove over kind of right before you pull into the parking lot, and I said, "Emmy's not here. Tecton's not here. Nobody's here. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's check my fucking phone. It says Sunday, yep. and I got three hours of sleep that day too. I uh, oh, went back home, ate Chipotle. It was actually kind of a positive though, because you guys ever been to Chipotle? Yes. All the time. So, what percentage of time would you say? They have the food that you want. For me, a hundred. Uh, for me, they might have it, but they might have cooked it shit that day. Okay, so for me, it's about thirty percent. Yeah. So I have I go to two different Chipotle's, and like one time they told me to leave, and it was like nine thirty-five. They closed at ten because they were freestyle rapping, and they didn't want me to interrupt it. And then, what? yeah, yeah, this this is what they do. And I mean, it's fine, right? I I don't really care. I mean, fucking, you know, you work at fucking Chipotle, like do whatever you want, right? I don't care. It's it's like, yeah, I mean, it's disappointing. I didn't get the food, but fuck it, I go to Wendy's. It's not a big deal. But like, uh, overall, like I went there yesterday, and the guy there is like, oh, you're that streamer. They always talk about you, and it's like, bro, and and like that made me even more mad. It's like if you guys always talk about me, how do you never save me any fucking steak? Yeah. And so this happens. I'm going and I'm getting the food. And I actually, he gave me a bunch of extra food. I was not that hungry. I ate half of that whole fucking bowl. It's like double steak, basically. I passed out on the floor yep. until like, yep, yeah, until 11 p.m. I woke up wow. and now I'm here. That reminds me of, a, I went to Target this morning. Yeah. And I immediately walk in and all I hear is every customer service employee's uh, walkie-talkie just going off. Everybody looks at me like I just killed someone as I yeah. walk in the door. And I'm like, what is happening? Can yeah. I even say that out loud? I'm like, bro, what do y'all want? Yeah. Like, did I do something? And nobody says anything to me. So I go, I shop, I meet this customer service employee who's uh, selling me lotion. And uh, I fell in love with her, but I didn't make a move on her because I'm yeah. pussy. Mm. feels bad. Plus, that's just weird. Uh, but I go to the cashier lady. And the first thing she says is, is I just want to let you know, I don't want to be here right now. And I'm like, wow, well, this is great. The next thing she says is, when my shift gets off, I'm going to blow this building up. And I'm like, wow. By the way, It's I not have- up now, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm being yeah. dead ass. You, I have two vouchers for this story. I went there with Laro yeah. and Ethelo, who are my two roommates. It was so funny. And then I just talked, talk, I started talking to her about her life because clearly she was having a very horrible day. And I said, don't worry, you'll get home soon. You know, you can watch whatever it is that you watch. And then you know what she did? She gave me $10, a $10 gift card for free because I cheered her up. Wow. I know. Wow. I know. That's great. If, I, if she had said to me, I'm like, that's, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to bro- I wanted to blow this place up before, too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, before that, uh, y'all, I'm, I'm a firm believer in modern medicine. Uh, I told you a little bit about this before, Asma. I didn't tell you about this, Emmy. Uh, I had the liquid gel ibuprofen tablets. Mm-hmm. The fun fact, don't bite those. Okay? Just don't. So I took two ibuprofen in the morning because it felt like a bomb went off in my head. Pretty sure the customer service employee from Target put one in my head, like, uh, What's his name? Uh, Killer Queen from Part 4 JoJo's. Um, I bite it. It explodes in my mouth. I swallow it. I can't taste anything for two and a half hours. Okay? Feels like my throat's closing. My mouth goes numb. Any normal person would have gone to the hospital. But That's I turned, why it's in a capsule. I know. It's yeah. not a gusher. I turned it into a mini game where I put as much stuff in my mouth, and I was like, I wonder what I can <laughs> taste. I wonder what I can feel. First thing I tasted after two and a half hours was nerd's rope. I did not go to the hospital, and I am fine. Wow. What a, medicine. What See, that's that's the whole point, guys. The moral <laughs> of the story is medicine doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Because if it did, his taste buds wouldn't work anymore. Oh, yeah. Aren't you like you don't ever take like ibuprofen or medicine or anything? <laughs> what a takeaway. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I like never want to take aspirin or anything, even if I know it'll help me. I'm just like, nah. But yeah, I, I, I did not even take a painkiller whenever they pulled out my fucking teeth. 
And okay, well, I never went that way. I don't get that. Uh, yeah, you never had to have that happen. <laughs> it, it's a bad time. I had my wisdom teeth removed. Well, I was oh, taking yeah, painkillers for that. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I did, I, to be fair, I did relent and I took one. I was, it was the release of AQ uh, on Courage. Mm-hmm. It's a really important raid in Classic WoW, you know. And right. so uh, I had to be the main tank. But I had just got my teeth pulled out, so I had to take, a, you know, like a hydrocodone or something like that, mm-hmm. half of one. And, you know, we cleared the race. Not a big deal, right? <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it, it you got to do what you got to do. But, no, it was, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't I don't like taking anything. I, I don't like putting anything in my body. But I, I will take an aspirin or, like, ibuprofen or something like that if I have a really, really bad headache. But the way that I usually solve it is I just lay down. Like all problems in my life go away whenever I go back into my nest. The nest. The nest. Yeah, the nest. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, whenever I go into the nest, I turn off all the lights and I don't worry about anything and I just exist there. And if I do that for a period of time, whatever the problem is will be gone. I'm going to be honest, like hearing your stories, I mean, not just you, it's also soda. Uh, so I have a lot of um, introverted or degen tendencies that I was trying to like. You don't feel bad about them anymore, do you? No, I don't. Like I don't like when I first moved to Austin. It was the first time I really lived in an area where I was in close proximity with a lot of people I was friends with. So like I kept like being like, oh, I should leave my room and go socialize and like leave the house and do all this stuff. I shouldn't sit in my room and play games alone. And then after a while, I would see you guys doing that. I'd be like, that's what I want to do. That's right. So I started. Just doing that. So we encourage you to be a loser. Yeah, exactly. Wait, but I mean, I'm happy. Uh, bro, I don't do that at all. I go out every night. Huh? No, I, I said you, oh, no, 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 you do him, go out regularly. Him and soda. Oh, yeah. okay. I was about to say, yeah, I go out all the time. Like, yeah, yeah. You're you're popping off. You're doing all kinds of crazy shit. I am just in my house, sitting there, fucking doing nothing. And <laughs> man, there are times somebody messages me, and it's like. I'm having a perfect day. I haven't talked to anyone. You are not going to ruin it. I don't know what it is, but I don't need to know. And yeah, I've I, I felt the same way. Like anytime I go online and, you know, like growing up, it's like, oh, you're supposed to go do this. You're supposed to, you know, go out yeah. to parties. I still and go touch grass go- and like talk to people and stuff, but just not as much. Well, it's, it started because um every time I go on IRL streams, yeah. if I ever like, get burnt out of like entertaining and being on camera I'll kind of just like go chill and then chat will be like oh where's Emmy like what's wrong with Emmy yeah. why is she being like this and I started being like maybe there is something wrong with me and then I thought about it and I was like thinking about soda where one time he he showed up to an IRL stream saw how fucking hyper everyone was and left yeah. instantly <laughs> yeah, he didn't and I was like camera. that's yeah. that's me that's what I want to yeah. be and there's nothing wrong with that no. So that's just what I've been doing. Every once in a while, like there's a place here in Austin, it's called Sixth Street. And if you are 18 years old to about 25 years old, that's where you want to be. And if you're over 30, that's where you don't want to be. <laughs> and so, I mean, really. And so the the way it is, is that I would always get, you know, pressured into going down there by my friends. Like, oh, let's go down to Sixth Street. We're gonna, oh, it's going to be so fucking badass. <laughs> We drive down there. The parking sucks dick. It's twenty dollars. This was twenty years or ten years ago or something like that. It's actually more like eight dollars, which is twenty dollars now. And so anyway, we spend all this time there. We go inside a club. Nobody can fucking hear what they're saying. There are girls flirting with you just to get you to give them money. Uh, the drinks are six dollars and they're not good. You get a soda and half of it is ice. It's fucking disgusting. All of the places that have food down there are terrible. And it's just like, I, I ask myself, what am I doing? Why am I not in my house? Well, the, Why am I not in my house right now? That's because, well, that, it just sounds Why like, do I not have a blanket on right now? Y'all are being invited <laughs> to like the normie shit, the normie yeah, going out. Yeah. Like you got to do the fun shit, which this is what I do. Like I don't fuck with bars at all unless it's a okay. karaoke bar. I like going to bars every once in a while, but it's like once every like four months or yeah, something. I, I go about once every week. I go to a karaoke bar and I make sure to go on the deadest day. I'm not going to say which day it is just in case, in case somebody's like, oh. It's the deadest day. Yeah, it's the yeah. deadest day. Nobody ever goes. So it's just me and my boys. You don't I'm, want it to be any deader. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't want any fucking freaks showing up. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, so the karaoke bar is always really fun. Just me and the boys singing might run on a private room. Or another thing I like to do is I invite me and my homies. We all go get sushi. I get us a private room, and then we just chill, talk about our weeks, eat some nice food together. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Or I go to the arcade, uh, which is awesome. They added in the new hammer machine to my favorite arcade. Yeah. And I set the high score three times in a row. Wow. And you know what was crazy? Okay. It's because the previous high score was set by an eight-year-old. <laughs> <It was just laughs> <added. And laughs> I did Stupid it. fucking kid. Yeah. You know how excited <laughs> I was? I was like, yeah. A little squirt to set the high score. Yeah. Stand back, bitch. Yeah. You no, know, it's weird to play arcades sometimes and like realizing that most people like don't play games or aren't experienced with games. Like the most recent time we went to an arcade, it was a bunch of OTK people off stream. We were just chilling. Mm. And I was chilling with uh, extra Emily. Oh we were just talking, and this guy came up to us and was like, Hey, you guys want to play rock band guitar hero with me? And we were like, sure. And so we played with him and he fucking sucked. And he was like amazed at how like cracked we were playing like medium hard mode and we were just like sick awesome (laughs) was that the one that i that i was at too yeah you were there oh yeah yep and i remember because it was that fucking that hungry hungry hippos thing that's my favorite okay (laughs) i don't fucking fucking destroyed him we played this hungry hungry hippos game where you like the hippos are like these seats you sit on mm-hmm. and then you pull the bar and it eats the, the marbles or whatever. And I fucking rolled his ass. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was pathetic. Like I got like seven and like she had like 20 something. Okay, well, that, that wasn't like a gamer happened. game. Like there's no like mechanics or skills. I just, fucking I, know I that. I was stronger. I could move it faster. <laughs> it was crazy. It was like, <laughs> yeah, how am I losing this? I'm like sitting there and like, you're barely even being able to do it. And I'm like, how I looked over and you had like 20 something points. I was so mad. His timing and arm strength. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. I, that, that's what it was, guys. I I hang out with very minimal, yeah, real like Twitch streamers off stream, like a okay, like like frequently. I don't do that anymore uh-huh. because the majority of streamers I know, when they get off stream, they're like fucking zombies. Which because like you dump all your energy into 10, 12 hour live streams, yeah, of just like. Comments all day, and they get off, and they just want to die. Are you? Do you not get that thing where when you go offline, you have like the disassociation where you just sit at your desk for like ten minutes? I no. used to when I was depressed. Oh no! Now that I'm happy, I don't. Oh no, because I know so many people who mm-hmm. who have what I just said. I just, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> I, I I do that. I used to do that all the time, but I wouldn't just disassociate. I'd go on my Reddit. And I would ban people who made negative comments about my stream. Mm. Fuck them. <laughs> That's smart. Fuck them. Every single day. And it was like any time I would see their name and like sometimes I would think back of times in Nevada when somebody said something that pissed me off. <laughs> I would fucking go back and ban that little bitch. It was so, so good. And like now I just, uh, I'm kind of the same as you now, Tech Town. Yeah. Like I don't ever disassociate. Like yeah. now, I mean, fuck, like the past week or so, I've been like, hey guys, it's time to start the stream. It's 1.31 <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. Yep, let's go. I and saw it, that last night, 1.19 a.m. start time, Path of Exile. Normal fucking day for me. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I live like a fucking degenerate. And uh, it's gotten so bad that now I'm going to be a functional human being probably because I'll go to bed whenever I finish this. Sick. And I'll wake up and it'll be like 5 a.m. I'll be like one of those uh, fucking red pill guys. It's like you have to wake up at 5 a.m., take a cold shower, eat a raw steak, <laughs> and, and then like, you know, think about like, you know, 17 different meditation techniques and then, uh, you know, imagine yourself uh, hanging out with Andrew Tate and then you'll be a millionaire. That's the dream. Oh, and then buy their crypto. I, I start my morning the same way every morning. Yeah. I wake up, I pull up Twitch at 9 a.m. and I'm like, where's my boy? And yeah. And I see him, Nick goes live and I yeah. message him, have a good morning, Nick. Hope your stream goes well. <laughs> then I put like some like eggy emote, like doing a dance. Yeah. And then he responds like three hours later and he says, kill yourself. And I'm like, oh, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's just so our play. But I went, to, I went on to a stream. Uh, a couple of days ago, and it was the first NMP stream I ever went with a full night's rest where I wasn't pissed off about the world because I'm in a very positive mindset lately because everything's just going good, and it just makes me so happy. Um, and it was, like, the funnest show I've ever been on. Milena was super nice to me. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was insane. Okay. She was nice to me. Nick got a new car. Have you seen it? Oh, it's an Escalade. I mean, you've seen one of them. You've seen all of them. Dude, it's a crazy. It's the same. It's just they've been making the same fucking car for fifteen years, man. Asmund. 
But oh, now it has another fucking camera in it, right? <laughs> but, it's got another TV. But no, they have TVs in the back of the scenes, <clears throat> and Nick rigged it to be the stream with the Twitch chat. Wait, and, that's okay. Sick. Yeah, okay. and the car has the alerts playing out of the speakers. That's sick. It is the streamer car. So I was sitting in the back with Russell. What a good guy. Extra Emily, Melina, and we were all just sitting there watching the stream, hearing the alerts, and it was like it was like the first time I ever felt. I felt like an idiot for buying my car because I was like, this is the streamer car. This will set the standard. And apparently it makes its own internet. So now he's going to travel the country in the car. It makes its own internet? That's what, what, that's what that he mean? said. What I'm very that gullible. I don't, I don't it, know. It probably has some sort of receiver on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. This is what Nick like, it, so he got a new one, right? So like, that's probably like 130000 Like That's a lot for a fucking car. Yeah, it's one hundred thirty k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's about what I thought. I thought about buying one myself, but then I realized that if... See, here's the thing, is yep. if you buy an expensive fucking car, guess how much the repairs are? There's a lot of money. Remember whenever Ms. Kip got his car fucked up? It was like $80,000 just for a door. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I got like half of the insides of my car replaced the other week, and it was 3000 bucks. Cost yeah. more than a car's worth. I yep. bottomed out my Corvette going to get sushi one time. Tectone was there. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm going to get it fixed because, I mean, it's on the bottom. Who sees that shit? It's Gives fine. A fuck. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, and then... uh. I've been taking this new vegetable drink that makes me feel amazing. And then immediately after that, I go for a bike ride. So it's like V8? I can't talk about it until two weeks from now. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. But it's a, it's a damn good vegetable drink. And then uh, I go for a nice bike ride, mm -hmm. which feels incredible. Then I start my stream every day at 11 a.m. or 11.30 a.m. Yeah. Talk, do some bullshit, react. And then I started playing Sekiro. Wait, when did you start streaming at 11? Uh, did you used for, to start late? Uh, at, the beginning, at the beginning of April. Oh, okay. I did a stream that went amazingly, and the EU audience was so nice. I was like, okay, guys, I will stream every day mornings for a month. And yeah. it might just become a morning stream. I like starting earlier, too. It's yeah. just hard to do consistently. It is, but I've been doing it consistently for 16 days so far. And I started Sekiro, which I am, I'm just going to say it, uh, I was wrong. I thought the game was ass because uh, I played it for about 30, 40 minutes. Back uh, in the day, right? Yeah, on yeah. a subathon. And I played it, and I was just in a really bad mindset because I was angry all the time. I was like, this game fucking sucks. Well, no you tried, probably tried to play it like Dark Souls. Yeah, I yeah. did. Mm -hmm. And then I picked it up and I played it. Oh my God. It's like incredible. The story's amazing. I would say that Sekiro is a perfect game. Yeah. It is a perfect Damn. game. Like, there are very few games that are actually perfect games. And Sekiro is one of them. Yeah. Like, the, the story of Inosuke and the lady with the bell immediately at the beginning. I was like, holy shit, it's already this in-depth. I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, I wasn't uh, sure if I was going to try it or not, but I guess I'll try it now. I think you should. Well, you're doing Dark Souls 3. So. Yes. Well, I'm halfway through Dark Souls 3, <laughs> and I've also been playing Souls 2 off stream, so now I can finally say my you're opinion playing Dark on Souls, Souls 2. two? Yeah, because I was like, well, I still okay, want to try well, what it. what do you think? I, I don't think it's as bad as some people say, but I just think it's so dumb How when far games... Are you? I'm not super far. I've done yeah, like four so you don't Oh, so it's going to get even worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but even so far, I hate when games add mechanics that punish like experimentation and risk. Because in the other Souls game, if you want to fuck around and die or do something stupid or like try something, it's fine. But in Souls 2, it's like, oh God, my health bar, I'm going to have to go get another fucking effigy farm Souls mm. to get that. And what if I run out of them? Like, it, I just, You're it's not just playing annoying. it on stream, are you? No. So you know like the Hyde Tower area where like the knights are, the really big knights? Yeah. Okay, so if you open it, the, there's a chest and like you, you go forward and then to the left, there's like that big area, you go to the right, there's a chest like down at the bottom area. And if you wear the ring from the chest, it makes you lose less health whenever you die. But it still happens, right? Yeah, it's fucking stupid, right? <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking stupid. It just yeah. makes it better. That's the only thing. But I was playing Sekiro, and I was told it was like the hardest game ever. I, I don't really think it is. Um, it's really not that difficult, because I've I fought three bosses so far. Which I ones did you do? Okay, so I fought the guy on the horseback um, with My the spear. Name. Yeah, that yeah. guy. And uh, he took me five attempts to kill because whenever he goes <laughs> above you, the camera angle goes crazy. And so I would take free hits. And I wasn't that good at that part. Uh, he took me five tries, and then I did the big drunk guy with the poison. Um, it took me two tries, and then I went to this butterfly chick. It was like an old lady with like hallucinations, and my chat was like, "Pepe, laugh! Here it comes! Like it's he's gonna be like Vod watch her skip eight hours, and then I beat her on my first try." And she, she was like, "She was like the freest thing ever." It was like at the beginning of the fight, 
it just says, you're going to need to sidestep and hit. And I'm like, okay. So I just do that. And then I completely, well, okay. I live the fight with one HP. But regardless, <laughs> it's I, fucking like, dead. It's That's dead. the thing. It, it's well, dead. I did it. The thing for me is the first time I fought her, yeah. I did it off stream and it took me eight hours to kill her. Oh my God. I'm not even kidding you yeah, because I've tried to play it like Dark Souls. Different things. Yeah. It's interesting. I came back and I played it again and I beat her on like my second or third yep. try. And it yep. was like not a big deal because you just like one, two, three, four. Okay. Block, block. Okay. Do it again. It's over. That's it. It's done. Like, it's literally the most telegraph fight in the game. You know what I did? What's up? So she backed up into a corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, bop, 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 for like yeah. the whole health bar. I was like, hey, man, what can I say? And then chat was pissed. They were saying, you cheated. You cheated. Why do you keep beating this so easy? And I'm like, I don't know what you want me to tell you, bro. If it makes if it makes you feel any better, there's like another boss later on. His name's Genichiro. And uh, like... The the speed run strategy is to effectively do that. Yeah. So don't feel bad. That's literally the way the best players in the game. Play yeah, it. I just don't know why you wouldn't. Like, you just never give... What I like to do is when I play Souls game is I don't think of them as the bosses. I think of me as the boss. I like and that. So, yeah, so I treat yeah. them like the bitch. Like, they're yeah. supposed to be afraid of me. That's right. And so I just I get the fuck in there. No, that's the same way I felt about it, too. It's like yeah. I would take the hits on purpose just to show the boss <laughs> who who's really the boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just to show that I can do it. Yeah. Absolutely. I have a I have a bet with my roommate. Yeah. Uh, her name is Pink. And uh she started playing Elden Ring. Oh my god. She's yeah. like uh, you know, bless her heart. She is about the worst gamer I've ever seen in my whole it's life. It's a girl. What do you expect? Yeah, it, I mean it is what it is. Yeah. And she's getting so right, frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting so frustrated at Elden Ring that she so like cry mid fight. Really? She's like, I just want to beat the fucking boss. But oh. she can't do it. It is so funny. Uh, and I feel so bad for her because I told her she doesn't have to pay rent this month if she beats Millennia in a uh-huh. month. Oh, my God. Oh, she'll be able to do that. Like, that's no big deal. Asmund. She's on the library, boss. The the library with just like the, you know, you kill the little guys on the ground with the gold, the little dink dong and the gold ore appears, and then they teleport to the other area and she has like the spell blast. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, she's been stuck on that for seven and a half hours. Yeah, I don't, Man. I don't know. I could be. <laughs> Man. I could be remembering wrong, but I'm pretty sure yeah. Cinna told me, I don't know the exact time. She said like three or four months or something. She was stuck on one boss yep. in Elden Ring. The twin the twin fights. It was the the big, fat, white blob, and then the skinny, white guy, and they like stab you, and the other one rolls on you. The, the twin fight. I don't know what they're called. Literally one shot that shit. God's yep. skin duo. So, yep. so easy. It's, so, <laughs> it's a I, fucking joke. That's that's how I found out. Uh, that's how I found out about Cinna. I try yep. to, I go to the Elden Ring. I did this all the time. I go to the Elden Ring category and I, I just try to find now. I try to find the worst player. And I just oh, sit there okay, and I'm just like, that. dude, it's so funny. I've thought about making alt accounts and then just giving them like advice that's like simultaneously helpful, but like fucking massively patronizing. <laughs> and be like, Yeah, so here's the problem is you keep standing in front of the attack and it's like I, I see what you're trying to do, but it's just really not working, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if they're still putting it on your Reddit. Uh, the person who made the, like, death the comparison. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're making one for Souls 3, too, and I'm currently beating you as fan in Soda. There you go. For first really? Friend. Yeah, but I'm worried because I feel like the same thing's going to happen where I have a lead, and then some DLC boss is just going to fucking rip my soul out of my chest. Um, but I'm I'm winning right now. Sick. There is one boss I fought in Dark Souls 3 that was like a massive wall, but every other boss was like pretty easy for me. I'm actually surprised that you're ahead. I think that's probably fucking fake. Like, no. there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I one-shot so what, many of those see? bosses. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I uh, yesterday when I played, I beat four bosses, and one of them I died zero times, and... One death, two death, but then one I died 14 times. I don't want to talk about that. Which one was that? It was not even... Let me see the chart for his name. So my problem is um, projectile bosses like Moonlight Butterfly, I I just can't. They they make me so angry. So you don't I wonder have why. Anger. 
I, I just happened. hate yeah. them. They just yeah. make me so angry and impatient. I just can't. I figured you'd be really good at that because you play like 80 characters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I watched this. <laughs> what? I watched this. Cause, what? Because you kept fucking up on Aldrich. Like this, this is the I easiest hate it so it's the much. easiest boss. I hate the fucking laser beams and shit. I get so mad that I use all my stamina in like five rolls and then I just die. I, I realize like you just walk behind him and hit him, right? And then like, I, and then. That's it. And then I zero or zero death to Soda died on armor. Dancer 56 yeah, times. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I was asking about that too. Yeah. But his other deaths, um, that wasn't even his first one. Emeru one-shot so. Dragon Slayer armor. That's impressive. Good job. Dude, I'm pissed because I have no idea what y'all yeah. are talking about. I thought, wait, you haven't played this one yet? Never played Dark no. Souls 3. It's good. I've, really uh, good well, so let me rephrase that. I beat the tutorial guy. Yeah. The guy who goes big black arm. Yeah. And then I had this buddy called Chet Tugs. Who like tried to like daddy up on me uh-huh. and was calling me like a shitter and I was like, ah, right, fuck, I'm good. Yeah, and I just dropped it. I'm gonna go back to it after I beat Sekiro. Yeah, but I don't know. I heard it was insane. And now a word from our sponsors. Huge shout out to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for sponsoring today's episode. These Japanese snack boxes allow you to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home and offer a unique experience depending on which box you choose. Tokyo Treat focuses on limited edition snacks from Japan like Sakura Pepsi, sake flavored Kit Kats, while the Sakura box is little and more traditional, partnering with local uh, Japanese snack makers to provide authentic snacks and teas. Plus, each Sakurako box comes with a special Japanese tableware item every month. So, Asmin, which which one are you most excited to try from your box? Well, uh, I think that we're going to do the, the Kit Kats. Uh, I think the Kit Kats, like, there's, like, a banana caramel Kit Kat. This month's themes are Sakura, Starlight Snack Fest, and Moonlight Sakura, both of which come with a limited edition box design. Plus, each box comes with a snack booklet to help explain what comes in each box. This includes information on each snack, such as the ingredients and additional facts about Japanese culture. If you're interested in experiencing Japan from your home today, click the links in the description and use our code STEAK for $5 off your first order. I just like, I like, pl- I have this weird fixation around playing video games that make me mad. Yep. And it's just, I was playing this game Remnant. And there was like a new game plus version of it. And they said, don't play the hardest version. You're not, you don't know it. It's for experts in the game. So obviously I start with that Mm -hmm. and and like, I'm getting mad constantly and I'm beating it. Like, cause to me, if you don't beat it on the hardest difficulty, you might as well have not even played the game. It's not Uh, even a real game. No, dude. It's I a joke. A billion percent agree. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and by the way, this is just me being a little bitch ego gamer. Like there's, it's actually completely fine to play it on lower difficulties. But it's not but, for you. But there's something wrong with me. And speaking of that, I was playing Path of Exile. You guys either played Path of Exile? Uh, dabbled for a sponsor, that's it. Yeah, I tried it out. So basically, <laughs> um, I have spent 76 hours building a character and I have finally made it. And... I'm proud of you, man. In order to explain the way the character works, it will take me literally one hour. All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's the end of the podcast. That's it. It's done. And we'll do that on the Patreon. Yeah. And uh, I am I am so happy about it. And it's one of the reasons why I stayed up all night last night. I was, and I was, this is the dumbest fucking thing. It's not like I was playing the game. No, I was laying in bed thinking about playing the game. Dude. Mm, that's the best. Yeah. I'm so, yeah. I, don't, I don't get that anymore. Really? Nope. Really? I, I got that for the first time in years when I played Souls 1. No, I, do, I don't get it. The only thing I think about when I lay down in bed at night is I love my cat, Eggy. That's really? it. He's my best friend. Mm-hmm. And then I think about him, and then he appears. And he's like, yo, Techie, I'm here. Let me lay on your neck for an hour. And I'm like, you got it, man. And I pet him, <laughs> and then I read Dragon Ball Z, baby. Do you like cats? I can't remember. Yeah, I, I have a cat. Cats. So, like, basically, I have a cat over at my dad's house. His name's Brother. And uh, he used to have a sister. Uh, she got eaten by a raccoon or some shit, oh, right? What the fuck? Well, it is what it is, right? It's a cat. And so uh, I love the cat, but it's a cat. And so anyway, brother is, uh, you know how like there's a cat saying cats have nine lives? Mm-hmm. He's used most of them. And so there <laughs> have been times where I have seen brother laying in the middle of the street. There is a car driving down the road. Brother is laying there. He looks up at the car. The car drives around him. That's so cool. The car drives around. Yeah, he's not moving. There's nothing. Ain't shit going to happen. 
And uh, another time, my dad went to, like, get some fucking medical procedure done. And uh, brother liked to uh, like to sleep on top of the garage door. And so, anyway. I remember uh, this. Yeah, my dad, I think I've heard this too. Oh, yeah, yeah. My dad pulls out, crushes the fucking cat with the garage door. Jesus. And then the animal control, police, firefighters, everybody comes over. And we go and we get brother from the, you know, the animal, like, shelter vet place. And they bring him out, and it's like I'm petting him, and I'm like, there's something wrong with him. Like, brother, there's something wrong with brother. And so I start petting him, petting his belly, and then finally he tried to bite me. I'm like, oh, never mind. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fine. He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Classic brother. brother. That reminds me, the, the biting reminds you, the, the Lord of the Rings Gollum has gone gold. Oh my god! Did y'all y'all fuck with that at all or no? No, I didn't play that. People were like, "Oh wow, they made a game about you," <laughs> but no, I, I haven't. Uh, I haven't played it yet. No, I'm tired of that shit. Yeah, yeah, vague similarities with anime characters or uh, you know video game characters that we look nothing like, and they're like, "Oh, bald guy, pecto." The f- yeah, bro, I it. mean, I get that too. It's like black anime or black hair anime. I was about to say, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, remember when you went on stream yesterday and you're like, wow, I look so Asian today. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? No, I was reading a message in chat <laughs> okay. because like I'll do something like I'll like wear like I won't wear like fake eyelashes and they're like, you look more Asian today. I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what actually messes me up about you, Emmy? What? You actually have hair, but you just you've done it the same for two years. Yeah. So I'm just saying, like, no, if you, no, most people like not really change their hair. I don't style. know. I really don't know. I, I, I changed my hair a lot. Yeah, you ponytail it. I, I have changed my hair a lot over the... I used to have hair that was this short, and I've also had hair that was, like, this long. Yeah, aren't you going to cut it? I keep thinking well, about it. You look like one of those troll dolls. <laughs> I totally get that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? If you were to grow your hair out, you would Yeah, look if like, your hair was that long. You would look ridiculous. Yeah, like one of those... I've had hair that long. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, my point. You no, never seen the troll no. dolls? You never seen it? But don't they... Don't their hair... Doesn't their hair but go it, up? It could. It, d- it doesn't always. I mean, it could. It could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. There you go. So that's, pretty, that's pretty close, right? I hated those fucking things, man. Yeah, I've never I, got I, like I girls on those. I never got the hype on those. Yeah. I remember I would go to the thrift store and I'd see a bunch of them there. I it don't was, think anybody saw the hype in them. It was like what? There was the troll dolls and there was but like How the, are they so popular? That's what I'm saying. And there was like the, the zombie high school, like the brats. Did you ever mess with brats or no? Brats? No. Yeah, B-R-A-T-Z. I, I can at least see like... Bratz kind of at least has like an aesthetic. If you're that, an 11 you know, year old girl, like, this is probably cool to you. And like yeah. the, it, it's like the year 2002. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely cool. Yeah, but, they're brats aren't that bad. Troll dolls are like they're disgusting. Like, yeah, I never got the hype around uh, just toys in general. I really? never once in my life was like, bro, I need this toy. I mean, I had like a Beast War that yeah. was uh, what Me- Megatron, but he was a dinosaur. Like, uh, his Beast Wars was cool, and you could use his mouth as a squirt gun. That's just because I wanted a squirt gun. Yeah. But, like, just an actual action figure? What the fuck do people even do with those? Like, I, I got into collecting those. You, like, you, like, role That's play with them it. when you're a kid. Me and my brother would do that. We had, like, Barbies and, like, Stormtroopers and shit. Yeah. And, like, we would just, like, How did, act out shit. What did they do? What do you mean? What did the Stormtrooper do with Barbie? Like, what did the... Um, well, the stormtroopers like not um, like that. So they, <laughs> no, they were like, like a, they were like a them? similar size. Oh, not like was, that at all. But the scale was different, so the stormtroopers were shorter than the Barbies, and the Barbies would like bully the stormtroopers. That's what we would do. That's so. And crazy. we would we would go to garage sales, and one There's time that's somebody's fantasy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my mom found this one of those like Beyblade domes. Yeah, and it, the it, shit. It was like thirty Beyblades. They were selling it for five dollars. Oh my god, dude! That was years of entertainment, dude. Beyblades. I wish, I wish those were still relevant. I always do a Beyblade stream once a year. Beyblades are sick because I got jealous because S Fan got a Beyblade sponsor two years ago. Yeah, I've never been more jealous. You get to play with the, the coolest toys on earth, like toys that actually do shit, not action figures, but like toys, like Beyblades. Let it rip. Who wins? Is that your dream sponsor? Nah, my dream sponsor is Manscaped. What? I love that one. <laughs> I, dude, I love Manscaped. I love them. I used to be sponsored by Manscaped. I wish I had just one every week. I love them, dude. They're, Mine's they're... Uh, Hot Pockets. I think Pokemon and maybe oh, some other shit. people got sponsored by Hot Pockets like years ago, and I was like, holy shit, that's the coolest sponsor ever. Because yeah, the pizza pants. No, I just like Hot Pockets. Oh, okay. That's actually, I actually burned my lip eating Hot Pockets earlier this week. Yeah, I was about I to say, like, uh, yeah, I can never eat those without burning my mouth or something. I mean, I still eat them, but, like, it's just... You know. Yeah, it literally like melted the skin on my face. Can you see? 
Nice. Wait. What yeah, that? actually, wait, that, that's bad. Yeah, that was like a piece of Hot Pocket. Well, act- well, I mean, it's completely safe for consumption in case Hot Pockets ever sees this and wants nah. to sponsor me. But yeah, it melted part of my face. What about you? What's your dream sponsor? My dream sponsor? Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know. Like, it would have to be something that's really bad. <laughs> yeah, I, bad how? I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think about, like, what would it be? Um condoms like that's the best thing i can think of but that's not even really that that's not even that edgy like it's got to be something way better than that for me manscaped or crunchyroll crunchyroll okay. either one of those you wouldn't want to be sponsored by like taco bell or dr pepper or something oh dude dr pepper sponsor for you i mean that'd be nice yeah but it's not like it's not like something i would fantasize about right it, it's like that would be great i'd love that but like it would have to be something that's like just so absolutely like ridiculous like you know, for example, if there was like a company that did like taxidermy, but they only did it for like pests, like raccoons, <laughs> and there was a company that would sponsor me for that, and they would give me like a taxidermied raccoon or like a squirrel or a possum, and, and like you could convert it into like a DVD player. <laughs> Yeah. And I think that would be pretty much a best case scenario. You just me. made like a whole new industry, man. Yeah. You just created that. I mean, I hope so. That's the gift to the world. Yeah. Yeah. I sponsor myself then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've started my own fucking company. Oh, random question. Yeah. Uh, how do y'all feel about cereal? This, this, is, this will go somewhere. I eat Fruity Pebbles almost you do? every day. Yeah. Remember what you were saying about degeneracy? Yeah. Here you go. What's so, the Jenner about free pebbles? No, no, you're about to see. So what I used to do is I used to get a bag of uh, Lucky Charms, and I would leave the bag out yeah. because, like, obviously, like, at this time, this is, like, 10 years ago whenever I do this regularly, so, like, half of my teeth were, like, broken and, like, rotten. So it would be unpleasant to eat them whenever they were just super fresh. So I would let the condensation and, like, a bit of mold build up and just, like like, moisture inside of the bag and oh then i would eat the bag the marshmallows out of the out of the box i mean next to my my chair because i would i would have like my chair right here so i just lean down and just like dig out a big fucking handful of lucky charms and they're soggy and like kind of wet and i would eat them Bro. oh they're so fucking good you, i would just eat them and there would be like more on the floor and it was so so Dude, uh, you could have just let it sit in the milk for like 10 minutes i don't want to eat fuck? it with milk that's nasty Bro, that that's disgusting. So, Who would do that? Ninety nine percent of America has one. Dude, when I first <laughs> moved out and I could eat whatever I wanted, I yeah. found out that on Amazon they sell giant bags of Lucky Charms that are only the marshmallows. Yeah, I got so that. I would buy those and eat those. Really? Well, yeah. I did a cereal tier list the other day with my homie. Cereal just don't hit anymore. Yeah, it, it don't. Raisin Bran, that's a scam. So, it tastes bad, dude. Who actually likes raisin well, bran, though? Yeah, hit, hit, hit me with before real. I continue. So, so fucking, like, you know how they said tricks are for kids? Yeah. Right, okay. So, remember back whenever you were a kid and it had, like, the different, like, shapes? Like, one was, like, a banana. The other one was, like, a fucking raspberry. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. And then they changed them, and they were all just, like, the same thing? Yep. That fucked with my head. <laughs> Because yeah. I thought, that, you know, now I'm like 25. Yeah. What the fuck happened, right? Yeah. Was this, this, this is some Mandela effect shit, or did it actually like change what they look like? Yeah. I have no idea. But now apparently it was just it was I don't know what the fuck they don't were worry. thinking about. They that. brought them back. Yeah, I know they did. Yeah, yeah. See, fun. like that, like that's not how it used to be, bro. Yeah. Yep. That's not. They changed it, and now uh-huh. the cereal turns your milk pink. That's disgusting. No, nah, it's good. It looks like Pepto Bismol. That's real good. That's, that sounds gross. It, okay, low key, it is gross. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tricks now, you bite it, it gives you this burst of flavor, then it goes away. So tricks. That's is how like, it always was. Okay, well, I didn't know that. So I had tricks like for like the first time, but I remember seeing my buddies eat it. I was always a big Frosted Flakes guy. Thankfully, Ugh. those did not fall off. Dude, cereal. Apparently, they changed the recipes. Oh my god, it's disgusting now. There's like only three good cereals, and like the two are Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Frosted Flakes. Fruity Pebbles. Did they change it to be healthier or what, what I, happened? I don't know what happened. Maybe Have you com- seen kids these days are fat as fuck? Of course not. Dude, let me know in the comments. Maybe do some research. I'm not going to do it. Uh, oh, my God. 
like Reese's Puff tasted like shit. They used to be one of my favorites. That uh, always tasted like shit. Really? I used to love it. Reese's Puff. Like Reese's I think, Puff. I think oh. things like sugary cereal just taste better when you're a kid. Kids have different taste buds. Well, no, but raisin bread tastes bad, and I'm an adult now. Is that okay, well, raisins are just gross. I used to you love, never outgrown that. I used to love raisin bread. I never eat that what? shit. Yeah, I used to love raisin bread, and I used to love Cheerios. I still love Cheerios. It's plain Cheerios. It's, I eat that shit without milk. That's just delicious. I... I've never even tried raisin bran. I just like, refused to. Dude, Reese's Puffs There's was no reason to eat that. It was yeah. so bad. I spit it out. Like I didn't. It tasted like dog food. <laughs> and then I realized cereal is just dog food for humans. Because it's like <laughs> you think about it, right? You get like the little bags yeah. of the royal canine. Yeah. You give your kitties their rocks. Mm -hmm. That's what cereal is for humans. Yeah. And they're trying to they're trying to compartmentalize us and treat us like pigs. So I will not be I will not be deceived by the government. You will not eat the bugs. <laughs> no, I will not. That's right. No, it, there is this time I, I went there. It was like right before Easter. You know what they had for cereal? They had Peeps cereal. What the fuck is that? Peeps, peeps cereal. cereal. Wait, I know what, what Peeps are, but what is Peeps cereal? Peeps. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't it's know. It's probably Lucky Charms with Peeps instead of I don't of know. Mushrooms. I bought a box of it. I just, I left it downstairs, and then I just never ate it because it was like it was downstairs, and I'm upstairs. It's like, I mean, fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it just ended up not happening, but yeah. I still have the box. I'll probably save it, and I'll eat it maybe next year. There you go. Yeah. You ever heard about the Sour Patch Kids cereal? No, but that sounds... I don't know. Apparently, it goes crazy. Uh, just, it's a sour cereal. No, I have not tried just, it. That's some nasty ass shit. Like, I fucking hate whenever people try to do something that shouldn't be done. Okay, give me an example. Okay. <laughs> so, do go. you remember back in like, this is like 2011. Look at that shit. Something like that. That's that looks good. That's fucking, that, looks, that looks good to me. That, that not, get not, some. Uh -uh. I'll Wait, get you some. Is, I don't think that picture's even the cereal. It's just that's, actual Sour Patch Kids with milk being I'm not sure. Can somebody find, find me a Sour Patch Kids I think cereal. that's just actual Sour Patch Kids Do y'all remember I would eat that though. in Jack in the Box whenever they made the bacon milkshake? Fuck no. What the hell? What is that? That's something that shouldn't have happened. No, you're right. That's bacon that milkshake, bro? Yeah, what should the not have happened. Like, the and there have been a few other ones like that, too. Oh my god! I still don't think the double down should have happened like from KFC. Uh, the oh, peep that, cereal, yeah, for there that. it is. That I looks have awesome. It. Yep. I will say, maybe there's another shit take, which I'm gonna bring up to you, Emmy, because I got I got a problem with you later. I got to bring up. Uh -oh. Okay, that little that little list you made that was biased. Okay. Oh, he's talking about. So I do this thing. Wait, where don't I, spoil it. Yet. Don't spoil it. Yet. No, I'm I'm just explaining okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. what it is. I make these uh Google form documents with a bunch of questions like, who do you think in the org is the best with money or the worst with money or like just like dumb questions like that and then i have everyone vote anonymously and then i compile the results into a powerpoint and present it i think there's a conspiracy against me that's all i'll say the the anti-tectone agenda is getting a little bit too uh little what, bit what's too, the example well they said who has the worst takes and well i think chat i think 60 percent of chat <laughs> voted me Okay, well, so that's, crazy. that's not OTK. That's not your friends. That's public perception. So what conspiracy? You it was, beat it was, me on that? No, I think it's... You were second. Like, oh. No, I think of... Wow. Yeah. In the org vote, you were first, I think, right? Yeah, you were the, the chat. Big surprise there. Yeah, because here's the thing. I realized... Okay, I'm, listen, I get it. Okay, I, I th listen. I think Captain Crunch tastes better without the berries. Okay, I understand that everybody might not respect my opinion. I understand, you know, some people might enjoy the One Piece anime. Go for it. I don't think that my takes are that bad. I just feel like people react to my bad takes louder because. Louder, so who, so is yeah. there someone that you think isn't getting the flack they should? Is that what that means? I'll say, I think Miz has set me up to fail. That's what I think it is. Name one bad take Miz has had. No, I think, I think Miz reacts to any subpar take that I make. Because and, it's like, because for it once, exists. there's yeah. somebody else out there that's going to get shit and it's not him. Yeah. It's the same thing whenever I say something. He's like, thank God. See, guys, it's not just me. See, they do stupid stuff too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that, huh? How about Only that? Only you do that to each other. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. I feel like I'm very supportive of my friends that get bad takes. Because you want to know why? Mm -hmm. I would rather have a friend that gave a bad take than a friend that gave no take. Yeah. That's why I'm saying I no longer talk to Adam P anymore. That's a joke. 
his mm-hmm. fence sitting strat is super smart though. I, I think, didn't even know that was an actual thing. But yeah, the, the NMP fence sitting thing. Like him doing that specifically. Oh yeah, he intentionally never gives any take. I think that sometimes he does. I feel like he does semi regularly. It's just that whenever he does, it's just. It, most people end up agreeing with it. It's not like for me. It's where safe takes. I Yeah, I will think of the one way that the wrong thing is right and be like, see, guys, how about that? <laughs> and everybody will get pissed off about it, but that's part of the fun. You know what was crazy? What? So I, I was notorious in Genshin Impact. Uh, yeah, we know. But get this. Some guy made a video on it. Oh, it's awesome, Asmin. I'm going to send it to you. How it's long is it? Ten minutes. Okay. Oh my God. And he made a video just about me. And I'll the put video it on my watch called, later. The video is called uh, Will I Allow Tectone to Play Honkai Star Rail? Okay. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. <laughs> but every single take that I was known for, for it being bad in Genshin, I'm actually 100% correct about two years later, which is insane. So I was, so, oh my God. The video starts off satirical. And I never, I don't, I don't think about these takes anymore, but he brought it up. And the two takes that I'm known for being the most notorious, which is Ganyu as a support, and that uh, Zhongli. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Yep. That's, that's a good video. That's a damn good video. And you can tell that it's a negative video about Tectone because there's an X, a red X the over. The a big red X yeah, over, yeah, over Tectone. Yeah, I, I actually, <laughs> yes. the, the guy is incredible. He has incredible deadpan delivery. So a lot of sarcasm might be lost on people who don't get that it's a deadpan video. But uh, he makes some really good points in that. And uh, I feel like the channel is incredibly underrated. He just, it's its so funny, the shit that he does. All his videos are meant to piss people off. And uh, making a pro tech tone video, that's thats a dangerous thing. That's a very dangerous thing. And uh, But yeah, the two takes that I've known for being notorious for, a take that made another kind of creator quit the game. Uh, yeah, that was in the uh, manifesto that mm-hmm. an individual wrote on my Twitter. Yep. Uh, or on my, on my Reddit, excuse I, me. I ended up being right about that conversation, which is uh-huh. so funny. The way he delivers it still makes me look like a jackass, but I love that. Yeah. It's so funny. Uh, and then the Arknights one, well, I, can't, <laughs> I fucked up on that one. I can't fine. believe you play that fucking game, dude. Like, what? I watched that game. Arknights? That was the biggest joke of a game i ever seen. It looked like the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen in my dude, life. You know what it is? Like, there were Flash games better than that in 2003. What, you, what happened? Well, the Flash games didn't have big, hot, like, yeah, we'll but like, I mean, but actually they did, and you could even take their clothes off on Newgrounds. Remember those? Those games sucked. Were you talking about yeah, the Yeah, they were really bad, but I mean, it was the best <laughs> thing you had. That's true. Uh, but yeah, it was just a really fun video. I think you should watch. I think you'll really enjoy it. Oh, I will. Um, I would love to watch those. And now, a word from our sponsors. You know, for most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly the high point of our academic careers. Uh, did you guys ever learn a new language in high school? I did in middle school, I learned Spanish, but in high school, no. Now thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Babbel's 15-minute lessons, that's right, 15 minutes, make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Their expertly crafted lessons are built around real life. You can learn how to have practical conversations about travel, relationships, businesses, and more. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts, and their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash stake. That's babbel.com slash stake for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel language for life. Also, just last thing is I really want to talk about this shit. Wuthering Waves and Honkai Star Rail are coming out next week, and I'm so fucking excited. You're ready for it? Yep, I'm ready. I'm oh ready to become the gotcha God. guy once again. I'm you're going to be the gotcha guy. I can't wait. How much money are you going to spend? I'm going to try to stay free to play for as long as possible. Why? No way. I don't believe that because, for a second. Because no one believes it. That's okay. why I, I just have to try. 
and it's really hard. It but is like, so what hard. if you what if you play the game and there's like paywalls within the first three hours, and you're just like sitting there farming like the same fucking combat encounter seventeen times. So you can farm the next combat encounter 18 times. Yeah, I believe like, there, there's going to be some banner yeah. where you're just going to lose con- all control. And then from there on, it's just downhill from there. Uh, there's there's going to be a wall. I'm not denying that. Okay. But I'm going to try to stay free to play for as long as <laughs> For at least. You should have time. one of those, like, you know, like, like it's like workplace accidents, zero days or something. Yeah. You should yeah. have like. Free, uh, free to play days and then like zero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, but for Wuthering Waves, oh my God. So, I mean, you've seen that game, the Wuthering Waves. Basically, it's a, uh, it, 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 have you seen it or not? I haven't actually. Okay. So, it, it's a lot kind of like Genshin, I would say, and it like is. the design. It's got more of a grounded feel. It's like in between Genshin and Punishing Grey Raven. Blue Protocol, I would say. I never played that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm it, not it, sure. The game literally is Genshin with Punishing Grey Raven. It's mixing the world. Okay, yeah. Oh, there shit. You go. That looks pretty cool. Oh, it looks badass. It looks the exact fucking same as Genshin and Tower of Fantasy. It's the exact same <laughs> fucking game. Like, yeah. let's be honest. But the it's, hair's glowing. Oh, my God. Just like Tower of Fantasy. They have the same fucking thing. They just do the exact thing, and they they have these little missions. You mm-hmm. go around, do the missions. You collect the little stupid things. You do all the stuff. And to be fair, the movement in the game is great. Looks amazing. the The only problem with a game like this is always like how much of this shit is just going to be pay to win or trash in some other way. Well, because like, I'm it's excited. Made, it's made by Kuro Games, who have made Punishing Gray Raven. Who I talked to, this content creator that people thought I had beef with. I don't. We already talked about it on Twitter. He actually did me a huge favor. He went on Twitter and he was like, Hey guys, I don't have a problem with Tecto at all. What the fuck are y'all talking about? His name is Regslin. I think he's a great guy. Um, he plays Punishing Gray Raven. And it's like you can see, by the way, like real quick, you yeah. can look at what what she just looted from that chest. Yeah. And like I've played a few of these games already. Yep. I already know what all those things are. I never played the game. I just look at them and I see how like what the numbers are. <laughs> 100%. It's like, okay. This is the upgrade material. This is the weapon upgrade material. This is some sort of empowerment material to upgrading the weapon. Like, it's so fucking standardized. It yep. is crazy. Yeah. But, but I'm going to play it. You should. We should We should honestly. I don't know if it's multiplayer. Is it multiplayer? I'm not no, sure. No, I'm not saying that we should play together, but I'm, okay. just, I'm excited to see your journey. Oh, I, I will. Any Any game that comes out, I will always stream the game. I would recommend for you guys to do the same thing. I do. And so, for me, I have perfected the art of streaming a video game. I, I believe that I have. Is that if the game is good, I play through the game and I have fun playing through the game. If the game is bad, I make content about how bad the game is. Yep. Like, there's a big part of me that wants Diablo 4 to go pay to win. Because <laughs> I, I will make so much money on YouTube. Like, I will put out a new video every day about it. Like, I will beat that horse into the crater of the fucking, the the core of the (laughs) earth. Like, that's how dead it's going to be. I'm going to be releasing, like, 75. It's going to be, like, Amber Heard all over again. There's going to be a million fucking videos I'm going to put out about that, and every single one's going to have hundreds of thousands of views. But apparently, Punishing Grey Raven is very free-to-play friendly. (laughs) Um, Apparently. Um, But, like, if there's also where Punishing Grey Raven is, it really doesn't matter how much you spend. Yeah. Like, if you're bad, you just won't win. So, like, apparently it is really hard. Okay. So, apparently, Wuthering Waves... Well, it's is called be- Punishing. Exactly. Yeah. So, apparently, Wuthering Waves is supposed to be a Genshin Impact that's actually difficult and has challenging combat. Because right now, every fight, and I mean every fight, you walk in, you put on a shield, and then you just auto-attack, and you can't lose at all. But how much money do you have to do to, to like, to Zero not dollars. lose? Zero dollars. There's no way you can go into, like, what's that thing called? Spiral Abyss? You can. To, with, with no money put in, and yep. then just, all right, we'll see what now, happens. I mean, no, the I'm thing sure is, you can, but is it worth so, it, like, the amount of time sink? Uh, so the thing, okay, so the thing with Spiral Abyss is, you can go in and beat it. You won't, you won't beat it fast, though. Where there's this character called Diana, you build her all HP, shield, and then you walk in. Uh, there's a bunch of free-to-play players who do it. Um, but if you want to beat it and get, like, match rewards... There's- there's, you, you know, like the whole Sneeko Cuck thing? Yeah. You know what I think is even worse is free-to-play players and pay-to-win games. Yeah. It is the most cuck shit that I have ever seen. They will play 13 hours a day just to stay on par with somebody who plays an hour a day and barely wails. And it's like they will view that as a badge of honor. I feel so bad for them. 
No, I also think it's incredibly lame. But also, for some reason, a lot of the community buys into that shit, and they, like, put, like, free-to-play players on a pedestal. Yeah, because they can't fucking afford any of this stuff in the game because they're 12. Yeah. No shit. But, like, they, they truly don't get that, like, bro, I mean, these free-to-play players, they're really, they're really not that good. They're just playing for an absurd amount of hours, and they're monetizing it on streams. Like, that's why, like, I don't know a single free-to-play player that doesn't stream their shit that anybody talks about because it's like nobody would ever play the game like this if they weren't Unless getting tons of money on it. it. Yeah. Just, they just would not do that mm -hmm. at all. So I don't know. It's irritating as shit to me. People like say, oh, you spent money. You're a loser. It's like, bro, I'm just trying to make good content for my stream. And like, I'm trying to have fun with the game. I don't want to collect minted berries. That's, for that's, what you, that's what you do is you always make the content. Like for me, if free to play is better content, then I do free to play. Yeah. And I did that in Lost Ark. And then we got to that honing wall. Like, did y'all play Lost Ark? Yeah, I, I played the you fuck did. out of it. You I did. love that game. I mean, did, did you play Lost Ark? I forgot. No, I didn't. You missed out. Yep. Uh, it you was so it. good on release. And now... Oh, I thought I thought it was going to be the new game. It It is... It is oh, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> did you do the, the carnival fight? Oh, absolutely. It I, was incredible. I, well, the, I, I beat... I, I beat everything in the game. I did not beat the new hard mode Brel Shaza, who's like the hardest boss. I didn't do that. It just came out this week. But I have the item level for it. You want to know how I got the item level? Spent $20,000. Money. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And so, yep. How much money? It, uh, actually wasn't that much. It was probably like $3,000. Is okay, it cool. honestly even satisfying? Because I haven't really whaled in any games. I did spend yeah, a lot of money did. in Genshin. What, 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 no, no, but it's different. I <laughs> no, no let me Emmy's explain. No, what I'm different. asking for is it satisfying is because you play the game this to like experience like, it, the game. This is like S fan explaining why Rhett Paladin should get loot over a warrior in classic. No, <laughs> okay, let me let me finish yeah, explaining. Go ahead. You got it, you got it. So I wailed because I got drunk and I wanted to see the titties. Whose titties? I don't remember. So you have Deviant Art. I think it, it was Yay like yeah, Miko. Yeah, Miko? And Raiden. Bro, she's so hot. Okay, but I'm asking, like, as someone who plays the game to, like, get, like, the achievements and beat the game and stuff, is it satisfying to spend thousands of dollars to just, like, basically make it easier? So, there is an achievement in Lost Ark. Remember the adventure, the adventure journals, the adventure? Yep. I got 100% on every single one of these. That's ridiculous. It's like a mental disorder. And so... Uh, <laughs> like a mental disorder. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, anyway, whenever the game was coming out, I showed people there was a golden horse that you could get for completing every single adventure journal to 100%. And you can whale to make it go like maybe a little bit faster, but like pretty much this is like, I mean, you have to be on unemployment to have this mount. And nowadays it's a lot easier because obviously the game has been out way longer, but even, even now it's still a flex and I got it like a year ago. And I told them back then, I said, it's going to take me six months or four months. I forgot what time to get this mount. And every single day for over a hundred days, I worked at that mount. Yep. And I fucking got it. Yep. I fucking got that mount. And there are people that might have a higher item level than me. They might have other stuff that I don't have. And, you know, honestly, I could get that stuff too. Just spend more money. It's pretty easy. But they don't have that fucking mount. Sick. And so, yeah. Yep. I, I always forget. I, I have that one thing. Here's the reward for, for paying to win in a game like Genshin. Um, YouTube ad revenue that uh, telling your chat we are not stopping until we get seven copies of Kazuha <laughs> dropping $5,000 on him and his weapon best is not weapon um, and it's like a fun event you pull for like three hours straight it's everybody's favorite I'm a very emotion filled guy when I don't get it I scream I lose my fucking mind and when I get it I also lose my fucking mind and it becomes a whole event but a character like Kazuha I feel is the, I would go on record saying this. I think he is the best designed character in all of Gotcha history, as well as in all of Genshin Impact, because he's so incredible. Does he cost a lot of money or something or what? Okay, so C0, he's incredible. He's still one of the best units. Okay. But at C6, he becomes complete. So at C0, all you can do is suck people in, do a big AOE. That's it. But, and you can only use him as a support. But if you C6 him, you can suck people in, jump in the air, slam on the ground, alt, suck them all in, jump in the air, 
slam on the ground, and then your sword becomes animo infused. So now you can become a main DPS and you can slash them around, and the E cooldown is so short, you suck him in, <laughs> slam on the ground, pop him again. He's the only character I think I have triple crown in Genshin Impact. And to be honest, if I ever go back, it's because of him. Like he is, he is the funnest character ever made. And thinking about this actually makes me sad. Why do they keep adding guy characters into the game? I don't understand. They've so, done like a list of the the like highest grossing Genshin characters, right? In the top last time I checked was Raiden. Are guys like up there at all? I'm pretty sure Zhongli should be up there. Because hmm. Zhongli and Zhao are the two most popular male characters, I believe, because oh. people want to have sex with them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but it is weird because I, I really don't hate Genshin. I really don't. But it just it is it's like a it's like a I see the potential in the game. For me, for me, not for other people, for me. Uh -huh. And it's just not that game. Because the majority of the time I spend in Genshin Impact, I go to Inazuma, and there's this place. You know, remember, remember when you used to run around Orgrimmar all the time when you were a kid? Yeah. Maybe you still do it. Yeah, I, I still do it. Yeah, yeah, I still do it as Kazuha. I go to Inazuma, and I jump on the buildings, and I pop up in the air, because you can use his abilities in midair. And then I float down, and he's so cool. I'm actually getting sad thinking about this. Fuck, I, I used <laughs> to love that game, man. It's, it's so heartbreaking. I just want, I want a new game. Like, uh, every, like, PoE has come out. And I will know life that game. I'm playing that all the time. I'm thinking about it all the time. And then whenever I finish that, I just immediately go and I start playing another game. Yep. I love no life in video games and just being a complete fucking loser. It's great. Like, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I will say this is a fear that I've had. Yeah. Uh, soda popping. This is on part of what you're saying. Oh, yeah. So I'm one of the most hardcore gamers. Right. right? But here's his weakness. He's got a girlfriend now, guys. And you know uh -huh. what that means? She can farm stuff for him while he's asleep. Dude, I'm going to say it right now. I think he's going to retire. Yeah. I think he's going to enjoy spending time more with Bebe off stream than he no, is. No, dude. Did, not you not see, so. did you not see they played? What were they? They were playing Dark and Darker for 12 hours yesterday on stream together. I did see that. Yeah. But I just, I feel now that they're together, I feel like things are going to start slowing down. Everybody always talks about how they're going to fucking retire. Yep. I'm sorry, but if you're narcissistic enough to stream yourself for 10 hours a day, yep. you're never going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. fucking don't lie to yourself. It's never going to happen. I used to tell myself the same thing. I'd be stressed out about my stream. Oh, well, you know, I just do it for another year. And then I just say, fuck it. I'm done. I'll just play video games and never stream again. I did that a few years, and I just, yeah, you know what? Nowadays, no, nope, we're never going to quit. It's never going to stop. And uh, just enjoy the fucking ride. That's, I mean. He's never going to quit. Okay. You really think yeah. he's going to? They started so streaming just, whenever he was, like, 16 years old. They just play games, too. Like, what are they doing off stream? That can't and, be. And well, also, like, did, did you see like Soda's that? neck? I don't know what they're doing off stream. So, so think about it like this, right? Yeah. Is so, like, what if he's spending all this time with her off stream, Eventually, she will piss him off. That's just what happens. <laughs> and, and then he'll be like, you know what? I'm going to go fucking stream again. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that's what it is. And so I, I think that it's a uh, it's a yin and yang situation, you know? Really? Is Yeah. Yeah. You you have one and it makes you appreciate the other. I just feel like I feel like it's going to start like this. I can see it now. They're going to say, we're going to take a one-month break, guys. We're going to go to another country. We're just going to relax, and we're going to come back stronger no. than ever. And, and, and they'll say that, right? Yep. And you know what it will turn into? Soda playing Warcraft 3 custom maps on the honeymoon. You think On he's a laptop. Was... Shit, man. That's Shit. right. You, you might they're be both, right. They're both gamers. You think they want to just stop gaming to, to do what? Just sit with each other and hold hands? I can't. I cannot believe that's all you think the world is, bro. That's so great. What are they gonna do? Just sit there? No, I'm uh, just like, saying. Like, you think Soda wants to like go out and like like do what? Like go to a bar? Arcade, movie, have kids. Yeah. You know, oh go to God. Niagara Falls, be a human. No. Pet a cat, ride a bike, climb Dude, a you, mountain. You can do like half of those things and, while still playing games yeah, for most of your day. Go to VR, guys. <laughs> Yeah, everybody, people always tell me, oh, I'm going to retire. I'm going to quit streaming. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll believe it when I fucking see it. Mm. It's not going to happen. As long as people are still getting viewers and people are still tuning in and watching, I, I don't know. Like, are you ever, do you ever plan on quitting? Um, I did, and yeah. then I got my mental health under control, and I was like, no, nah, I'm chilling. I yeah, exactly. Because I have more fun playing games on stream than I do off stream. Yeah. Like, to be honest, there are some games that are just literally not fun unless I am streaming them. Because my community is so fucking nice. Yeah. Like, they are so fucking nice. It's actually hilarious. 
I love them so much. What about you, Emmy? You well, it, de- it depends on like your idea of like quitting in retirement because mm-hmm. there are streamers who are retired, like Pokey. Yeah. Where, like, oh, is she, she retired? I didn't even know. Yeah, she she doesn't really like you know do stuff with. Well, she does stuff stuff with offline TV yeah, still, but she sure. kind of was just like, hey guys, like. I've just, like, you know, been burnt out. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like now. And she'll just stream Valorant to, like, whoever still wants to watch her, pretty much. Yeah. So, like, that's some streamer's idea of retirement is, like, I don't want to quit streaming. I just don't want to, like, do as much as I used to be doing. Like, I, I can't see myself, like, ever quitting cold turkey, like, just, like, leaving the internet. Yeah. But, I, I mean, I'm, I, someday I will slow down, I'm sure. Yeah, and, I can like, definitely foresee myself not wanting to do the... uh um, you know, serial tier list type shit and just want to go live, talk to my boys and just, you know, grind. Yeah. I'll be real. I've been thinking about trying to speed run Elden Ring because yeah. I love that. I love Souls. I mean, it's I, it's pretty much the only game I actually feel something with anymore. I love Souls games so much. Like, even watching them, like when, I, when I'm not playing them, I'm like watching other Elden Ring playthroughs. Like, dude, I think it would be really fun. And I was, I was helping my buddy play and I was able to pick up the remotes and just, one try every boss in Elden Ring now because I've seen the fight once and yeah. it just feels incredible. So I'm actually I might eventually go for a world record in Elden Ring. I probably won't get it, but I think it'd Why be don't fun. Why you do to the try. randomizer? Randomizer is fucking fun. I'm too stupid. I don't get how to start it. I don't get how to set it up. You just do it. Like I don't. I don't get how to like to download it. I don't yeah, we'll it. just do it. Like yeah. how do you think? You, how do you think other people do it? Well, they download it. I, so you just download it, then it's done. I tried. Okay, so uh, so here's what's happening. So I'm trying to download it, and it says uh, that I have to use this email, but it's not my email, and I can't get it out of the internet. And I just recently- make a new account. Fine, Asmund, I'll do it. Like, yeah, it's easy. Fine. Like, I, I, I played the, uh, the, the randomizer mod. That shit was fun. But, like, the problem is, like, I know a lot about the game, so I know how to cheese the game. Yeah. And so I have to, like, artificially make it harder so people don't lose interest. And, like, that's what happens now. Really? Like, yeah. Wait, well, so did you beat it? The randomizer? Yeah. No, I got bored. What the fuck? Yeah, you just beat the boss. Like, no, like, I'm telling you, if you, like, you, I think that you might underestimate. Like, whenever I'm sitting there in the nest, what the fuck do you think I'm doing? Like, I'm just watching videos about different video games. I'll watch, like, speed runs and things about games that I don't even play. Really? Like I'm just sitting there. Yes, I'm just sitting there researching video games, like the lore of a video game, like all kinds of other crazy shit. Like I am a fucking nerd. It's <laughs> it's disgusting. Like it, it really is. Like there's something fucking wrong with me. And I spend so much time like researching like all of this stuff and like figuring all of it out and you know these different games and then looking about stuff about history. Oh my god, that's all I do. Dude, I was able to explain the yeah. Millennia Radon lore to my buddy. Uh huh. I never felt that passionate about something since like yeah. watching the new Hell's Paradise, which by okay. the way, holy fuck, spring anime 2023 is crazy, which I want to talk about later. Okay. Uh, what was Hell's Paradise? That's the one you said I should watch, right? Okay. We can talk about anime. Okay. I'm ready for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I watched most of uh, episode one of that. Holy and? shit. And this, I thought it was good. This okay. is the best anime season I think we've had in like six, seven years. Um, new Hell's Paradise. New Demon Slayer, uh, level 999 Yamada Kun, uh, Death Mount Deadplay, Mashal, Vinland Saga, still happening. I mean, uh, uh, Heavenly Delusion. They're doing soul leveling too. Oshinoko. Mm-hmm. Soul leveling is this season? Oh. Holy fuck. By the way, please watch Oshinoko. I think it is. I think you will love it. Is that the one with the girl with the sparkle yep. eyes? Yeah, I've seen a lot about that. I was please, thinking about starting Please just watch it. the first episode before you get spoiled. If you have no spoilers, please watch because you will be spoiled if you talk about it at all. Okay. Just watch it. It's I was, I'll let you know. It's an hour and a half of the first episode. Because okay. it, is, it has, this has not happened in a decade, I believe. It is now the highest rated anime of all time. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. Above, uh, Above Full Metal Aquas Brotherhood. Yeah. Wow. It is, it's crazy. It will blow your fucking mind. Uh, so I think y'all will really enjoy that. Hell's Paradise, really good. It's like darker and darker, but only one person escapes. Uh, level 999, Yamada-kun. There's this dude, he plays video games, and he's grinding an MMO, and he meets this girl, and he wants to do this grind spot. Is it a guy? Is it a guy in real life? It, yeah. It, no, no, no. no. One's, <laughs> a guy, the one's a hot guy, one's a hot girl. Okay. But this girl won't leave the grinding spot, so they meet up in real life, and then he fucks her, 
And then after <laughs> she's sleeping from recovering from the sex, he like grinded the spot. That way she would like fucking leave the spot. So he bangs girl just to grind it harder. Yeah. Which is insane. Nice. Uh, Mashell is like Psyche K mixed with Black Clover. Uh, it's about a really strong guy who can't use magic, but he's so jacked magic doesn't work on him. So this guy casts a spell that like can kill a dragon. He just like swats it out of the fucking air. Super funny, <laughs> super comedic. Um, oh shit, Demon Slayers, uh, the, the new swordsmith arc. It introduces a new chick called uh, uh, Mitsuri. Beautiful, love it. The animation is still peak shit. Oshinoko, incredible animation. It is a show that you think you will know what it's about, I guarantee you, before going to that, you are not expecting what the show is actually about. It is such okay. a twist. Um, same thing with Dead Mount Denplay. Um, I, I will give a slight, a slight spoiler. Skip thirty seconds if you don't want to hear this. Instead of like following like what you think is the good guy, you're actually following the bad guy who's perceived as the bad guy, but he's actually the good guy. Okay, which is a really cool like swap. So it's like you as a streamer. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. The villain. And yeah. it's sick. It's like when it's revealed, it's like oh shit! It's all in the first episode. So. Right. Something to get you hooked. Uh, but oh my God, I just, I go, oh, and I also, I'm, I'm still reading Dragon Ball Super right now, which is insane. I just got past the Moro fight, which is crazy. I feel like there, this is the era of there's no good games, but there's all good anime. So like the moment I finish streaming, I just, I just go downstairs and I just, I just binge everything. I don't know. I, I play so many MMOs. I, I, I am just capped on games myself. I'm really? playing games constantly. What game do you think is peak right now for you? Uh, well, I'm playing Pee Wee, right? Yep. And then, like, as soon as I finish that, uh, there's a new Star Wars game that's coming out at the end of the month. There's a new MMO that comes out. It's called Perfect New World. It comes that's out. That's this month? Uh, well, it, yeah. No, it's, like, the beginning of next month, but apparently the test might be NDA or it's some fucking bullshit. And so I, I'm not really entirely sure. But, like, I, I, I want to watch you more. You think it'll anime. be good? Say what? You think Perfect New World will be good? No, nah, probably be dog shit. But we'll play it. It'd be good to play. I mean, shit. The thing is, like, any new game, like, I just love going into, like, one of those new worlds. And then it, this sounds, like, just so fucking dumb. But just, like, making friends and just, like, seeing how the world plays out. You know? It, it's just, like, seeing what happens and mm -hmm. interacting with people. And just being, uh, you, you know, part of the, the adventure. Like, that's what I, I, I love that so much. And it doesn't matter if the game sucks dick. I'll still enjoy it. I actually love how you still have that mentality. Yeah. I, I used to have that a lot, too. I, I fell out of the MMO circle because, like, every MMO blows up. You know? Like well, it I, blows up and then it blows up? Like, like it. Uh, I have, like, a group I play with, and then they all just stop. And I'm just like, fuck it. I don't want to do that again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I, did, it's, I don't know. Some people was like I attention don't. spans. I like, never do. I never have that problem. I'm always, yeah. a, I, I am unironically a solo player. Like, yeah. I, I am that guy that, you know, I will do my own thing and I will, you know, fucking be part of the guild and then somehow I'll get the guild bank and then I'm gone. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. And it's like, that's, that's what I've always enjoyed. It's like the meta game inside of the game. That's what's always been most enjoyable to me about it. Yeah, I, I just, I'm just not like that, you know. I'm about like the the friends you make along the way. I'm not. Speaking of friends, well, I'm, I, I like making the friends, but it's a different kind of friends. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsors. Well, if one episode isn't enough, we got even more now. We started the Steak and Eggs official Patreon. Patreon.com/slash Steak and Eggs. We're going to have tons of stuff on there, as well as behind-the-scenes footage, bonus content, as well as questions that we are going to answer from you guys directly. So if you guys want to be a part of that and see what there is to offer, take a look at it at patreon.com slash steak and eggs. Between the friends you made along the way, uh, y'all hear about uh, the Mr. Beast, Chris, Sonny B2 situation? So, so fucking, like, so Chris... This is the thing that's so crazy to me about it mm. is so for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Chris is like Mr. Beast's friend and has recently come out as taking uh, HRT. I think that's the acronym yeah. for it. Mm -hmm. It's like a, the stuff to make you like a, a, the other gender, right? So like you go and you're, oh, he's like trying to, he's a guy, he's trying to be a girl, right? So he's taking the medicine and, and all that. And so the funniest fucking thing about this whole thing is the fact that he actually didn't even come out and talk about it at all until like three or four viral tweets came out talking about how how different he looked. Mm. So it's not even like he was doing it for attention. 
he only made a comment on it after people brought attention to it. Yep. So it's like, what the fuck? And then, so n- then after that, I-, I-, I mean, have you seen any of this? I've seen a bit of this stuff on Twitter and like, I just see so many weird things. It's hard to even like know what's going on. Like people like ac- accusing Chris of different things. And I, I just none of Chris it made, sense made to some me. weird tweets in 2016. He did. I read them. They're really weird. I haven't seen them. They're what? bad. They're bad tweets. Um, but the, the fact is that uh, I said shock value shit too. Like, I mean, I'm not going to go and fucking crucify somebody for some shit that they said like six, seven years ago. Like, who cares? Uh, it's, it's not, I I don't know. I I think there's like a fucking statute of limitations on the internet to an extent. Right. Unless it's somebody I really don't like. And then there's not, (laughs) but, uh, (laughs) in general, that's kind of the way I I don't really think it's a big deal. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely weird stuff. Do you see it? Yeah, no, I watched the whole video. It's weird. And Uh, I've, I've, I had like such a horrible reaction to that shit, but keep going. Oh yeah. So, so then this guy, Sonny. And I watch Sonny's videos. I watch all of his videos. Mm-hmm. I think that in general, he's a good content creator, but he has a huge blind spot for anything that's not YouTube analytics. Yeah. So, like, he's the kind of guy that it's like if somebody fucking, they take time away from their YouTube channel, and this is not what he's done specifically, but it's, like, kind of a, a metaphor for it. It's like somebody takes time away from their YouTube channel to focus on their family. This guy makes a fucking video about how their channel's dying. Yeah, it's like, well, yes, he's not getting as many views as he used to because now he has three kids and it just makes sense. And so he made a video that was very negative about uh, Ninja, for example, about, you know, like, oh, Ninja's dying Ninja's you know, like a relevant streamer now, et cetera. And the truth is, like, Ninja just focused more on his personal life. And so uh, uh, Sonny made a video about Chris and um, kind of did the same thing where he looks at the relationship that Mr. Beast has with Chris in a completely one dimensional, uh, professional manner. It actually does, pissed me off. Well, it, the thing is that I understand the perspective that he has as a outsider. You know, yeah. this is somebody who doesn't care about Mr. Beast. He doesn't care about Chris. He only cares about the content and he only cares about the surface level, which is to be fair, a lot of viewers. Mm. But I think if you want to do a deep dive into the actual relationship, especially, oh my God, there's the only thing that I hate more than astrology is body language experts. Oh, oh my God. Holy fuck. You're about to say how people are like, they're so uncomfortable on the live stream. Here's the thing. Oh my God. Is that if, if Mr. Beast, they can't, oh my God. So here's the thing. If, if, if he jokes about it with Chris, cause I bet like, I don't know them. Right. But, like, if this is, like, my friends, like, we'd probably make jokes about, like, gender shit all the time, right? Because, like, it's mm. just normal, right? It's just how people interact with each other. But the thing is that he's got a fucking microscope of 40, 100, sorry, 143 million people. That's so many people he has subscribed to his YouTube channel. And guess what? So if he makes one joke about Chris, if he says one thing about it, even something that they might laugh about privately – you're going to have all of the people that unironically hate trans that are going to be like, see, even Mr. Beast hates his own friend. Yeah. Oh and and my that's, God. that's why. So like they can't fucking joke about it. And then also on the other end, you're going to have people, oh, wow, they're making, he's making light of Chris's problems. He's made, so, so you literally can't make a joke about it because people are going to take it and turn it into their fucking agenda. So they're sitting there and they have to like, it's like the elephant is in the room, but if you say that there's an elephant, now you're the asshole. <laughs> like, and, and, and so yep. you, you, you have to have this like very artificial fake relationship. And I think it's especially awkward for them because they've been friends for so long. Of course. So it, it's just, I don't know. I've, I have like, there was a fucking video for that. It was like 10 minutes. My react video was like 50. Yep. I have so much shit to say about this Yep. because it drives me crazy how much there's always somebody who's got to have their fucking opinion about what somebody else does. If you don't like the fucking show, stop watching it. Stop trying to tell everybody else what they can and can't do. It is exhausting. My react video was that's, only 34 minutes, so I got to get my numbers up. Yeah, yeah, it's a good, good start, though. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's my fucking take on it. That's what I think. The I, thing that pissed me off. I don't really, yeah, go ahead. Which you touched on it was, one, 
people he's he's talking about it analytically, but it, it it doesn't really matter. Like sometimes analytics don't fucking matter. He's doing what is best for him. And that I think that point was completely missed in the video. Number two, once well, again, body well, the, language. The expert. thing is, yeah. is that there is a nuance to it. Is that nobody cares about what's best for Chris. Because yeah. people that are watching that video don't care about him as a person. True. They care about him as a content creator. Mm. And if you don't realize that, you are in for a world of pain. Yeah. And then uh, the other thing was, once again, the body language expert. Like, notice how his lip curls right here. You can clearly <laughs> feel the discomfort. It's like, bro, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And the idea that Chris bombarded Mr. Beast with his uh, transitioning out of nowhere... Dude, they've been best friends since childhood. If you don't think they've had countless talks about that off stream, you're just fucking delusional. And it was like talking to like a robot's opinion on what human life is. It's like, bro, how is somebody that out of touch with their opinions? It was, it was quite literally, it was like a chat GPT take. That shit was nuts. I mean, I, I, I pretty much agree. I mean, I just, to me, I understand like, and, and this is kind of what I assume, right? Because yeah, they've been friends for their whole fucking lives, right? So he probably, Chris probably offered, like, listen, like, if you think it's going to fuck up the channel or bring any weird vibes, yep. I, I'll just, you know, I'll leave and I'll do it maybe a couple months later. And, you know, like, we can kind of just hang out off stream and it'll be like a thing. I bet he probably offered to do that. 100%. Like, because that's what, that, that's what I think anybody that would have had that long of a relationship would do. Like, I can't speak to that for sure, but I know friends of mine. And, you know, like not the same situation, but similar situations. And I think that's what they would probably do. And, you know, in some cases, that's kind of what's happened. So it's just, it's very weird how people are just so entitled over having the moral authority to tell somebody else what they can and can't do on the internet. And it's like, uh, you know, if you don't want to have this conversation with your kids, it's like, oh, it's a trans thing or it's going to. It's gonna. It's too weird for your kids. Like, holy fuck, man. Okay, then fine. Don't do it. But do we really need to hear about how nobody else can watch it? Is allowed to watch this? That's the problem. Yep. It's like it's not enough to make your own choice. You have to make it for other people, yep. and that's just too much for me. I cannot believe we have gone an hour and eighteen minutes without talking about Creator Clash. Really. That's insane. Man. That's good because we'll go another hour and 18 minutes if you let me talk about the Chris situation because that shit pisses me off. Yep. The creator clash, I I didn't see it. I mean, listen, I don't want to get punched in the fucking head. <laughs> Dude, like, the amount of broken noses, I didn't. I mean, I guess that's common. Yep. You didn't I, go to it, right? No, I didn't. Yeah. Fuck. I was I invited. Kind of yeah, it but was, I also S, go. Oh my God, he is so good. S fan is a legend. He's a god. He is so good in those IRL events. Yeah, yeah. Like that is like that is where he is in his fucking element, you know. And I really hope he does more streams like that. They were just so good. He's so great in IRL live environments because he's actually a cool guy. Yep. He's not a fucking weirdo. And so, especially whenever you put him up against like, you know, other streamers and these people that make YouTube videos all the time, he's even way cooler than they are. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it was great. I was so happy to see him do so well with the, uh, with the streams that he did at Creative Clash. I think everybody loved them. Yeah, S-Fan killed it. Even Grayson and Wake got a stream in there too that I think they did great with. There it is. Because S-Fan helped them with yep, their stream as well. Absolutely. Uh, did you see it? I mean. I did not watch it, but I saw some clips and I like heard about some of the shit that happened. I watched the whole thing from start to finish. Yeah. And that was fucking awesome. That was one of the best events I've ever seen uh, thrown by content creators. I want to run you down the card. Is that cool if I run you all down the card real quick? Yeah. Sure. All right. So one of the fights that I was most excited for was Harley Morenstein versus John Hennigan. Uh, Harley Morenstein is the epic mealtime guy. Uh, John, Bacon. John Hennigan is a professional WWE wrestler. Uh, who is a parkour expert. Uh, he was down about seven inches and 40 pounds. Uh, a lot of people thought Harley was going to beat him, but what people don't get about John Morrison is that he is a fucking freak of nature. Well, he's a professional athlete. Dude, right? Aspen, he beat the fuck out of Harley so bad. He fell out of the ring, and he fell into the crowd. Like, he knocked his ass out of the fucking well, ring. Well, Har Harley's like, what, probably like 6'5", something like he's that? He's 6'7". Yeah, Six, yeah, he's seven? he's yeah. a big dude. And so, like, the thing is that the amount of, like, uh, training and everything that you need to yep. be, like, physically able at that size yep. 
It's a lot. Bro, you don't do that in three months. Like yep. the guys that are like in the NFL and the NBA that are that size, they train like year round. It's mm-hmm. fucking nuts. So yeah, I mean, like I'd seen many videos. Like you go back in uh, the nineties, right? Mike Tyson fucking was, I think Mike Tyson's like five, nine. Mm. He beat the fucking shit out of people that were six, four. Yep. Like it was nothing. Just, <laughs> it's just a bigger <laughs> target. <laughs> like that's it. Because and so, yeah. P- people were giving Harley shit. It's like, dude, how did he lose? He had such a weight advantage. It's just, that's how, not bro, how it works. It's it's John fucking Morrison, man. Like the, the odds were so low in Harley's favor. It was ridiculous. The fact that Harley yeah. even agreed to do that was insane. Look at that. He beat his ass out of the fucking ring. I couldn't believe Harley agreed to do that. It was yeah. insane. Uh, That's and, rough, man. Yeah, and then there was uh, the Michelle Carr versus Andrea Botez fight, which apparently there was a little bit of drama about because apparently Andrea was underneath the uh, idea that they were both new boxers, but Michelle had been boxing for years. Oh, sorry, and so Michelle know. beat the shit out of Andrea, but they both did great. Andrea's athleticism should not be undersold at all. Uh, there was Marisha Ray. Versus Haley Sharp, um, I I can't remember who won, but it was that it was the happy girl who did an amazing fight. Uh, she lost to Minx last year, but she came back this year. Then there was Myth versus Hondar. Oh, Myth won, right? Huh? Myth won, right? Myth won dominantly. What a freak of nature! Because just, you just look at him like he. This is a dude that's in shape, dude. Myth, yeah, blew my mind because I saw Hondar. That's a scary dude. Mm-hmm. Myth, all respect to Hundar, Myth bitch boy does that. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. It was an insane fight. Then next after that was Aaron Hansen, my boy, versus Jarvis Johnson. Um, I've been watching Aaron Hansen since I was in college. Uh, he's the Game Grumps. You ever seen Game Grumps? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the, he's Ego Rad from Game Grumps. Um, once again, trained his ass off, looked incredible. The fight was amazing. It was so good. Aaron won that one. Uh, the fight after that was Alana Pierce versus Mika. Uh, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I do not remember that one. Then there was Crank Gameplays versus Lionheart. This one was nuts because mid-match, the first round was very slow. They cleansed a lot. Um, crank Gameplays accidentally hit Lionheart in the back of the neck, which I've been hit in the back of the neck. You don't recover from that, um, and neither did Lionheart. Crank gameplay is one of the next, uh, the next, uh, the next fight. Uh, then there was Nathan Barnett, dad. You know Nathan Barnett? No. Really, Nathan Barnett, Keith Apicary? No. Oh, he's like the dad of the internet. He was amazing, and he fought AB Star Killer. AB's from the H three H three podcast. Uh, Nathan uh, TKO'd his ass in one round. He was like, he was like a a wolf, like a, a a ferocious wolf looking for a meal. Like his agility was insane. It was like it was like Joe Taro fighting Dio. Like, that's how fast they were both going at each other. That fight was nuts. Uh, and I believe Nathan broke the dude's arm and his rib and gave him a concussion. Yeah, and that's why I don't like doing that. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah uh, Jay LeRae versus Abelina Sabrina. I also don't remember that one. Uh, Jack Manifold versus Dakota. Uh, Dakota did a pretty good uh, fight. And then there was I-Dubs versus the guy who wasn't I-Dubs. And once again, <laughs> I-Dubs. You fought Sam Hyde, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, okay. I dubs lost in the main event again, which feels awful when you make a whole event and then you've lost in the main think event he twice. Gave in a row. Fuck, like, it, yeah, probably it's, not. Yeah, it's like he knew he probably gonna lose because he's spending all the time setting up the event. He's like, I gotta get up there and get my ass beat. It is what it is. <laughs> fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> this is what everybody came here for anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. No, uh I, I, I think that it's kind of interesting that like content creators have evolved from, you know, making drama videos about each other to collabing with each other. And now they just literally beat the shit out of each other. Yep. Sick. It's crazy. Like it is actually insane. And you know who we have to thank for all of that? Jake Paul. Thank you, Jake Paul. Wait, Jake Paul, wait how? Because he was, I think, one of the first ones, Jake Paul and KSI was one of the first actual internet beefs to start where they actually took it into real life and they had an actual fight. That's right. I forgot about that. Yep. Out of curiosity, y'all wouldn't ever do that? No. Would you ever do that, Emmy? Would you ever get into a boxing ring? I would, depending on who it was. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about this She before. said she would fight Valkyrie. Yeah, Valkyrie said that she'd be down to box me, but she would she would kill me. She yeah, would. She would. 
I mean, it'd be it'd be funny. Yeah. And then someone else like small, like Lily Pichu, maybe. That would be a fucking awesome fight. <laughs> Me yeah. versus Lily Pichu. Oh my! I was like, I couldn't find a single person who I think would be a fair fight versus you because you're you're very small, right? <laughs> But Lily Pichu, I think that would deadass be a fair fight. I think Lily is a, a bit taller than me, though. I don't know if there's another... Um... Yeah, but you got that dog in you. Mm-hmm. My dog? <laughs> 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 would there be... Let's just hypothetically, Asmund. They yeah. offer you $10 billion. You got to get in the ring versus somebody. It's anybody. That would come to mind. Anybody. I don't know. I feel like the person who'd be closest to my build would probably be XQC, right? I mean that that would probably be like the the that person be, closest. That would be, awesome. that would be yeah. fucking. I remember whenever crazy. it happened, people always spam me. Oh, fight XQC! It's like fuck that. Like I don't want to. <laughs> no man. Like, uh, no. I I I don't know. That that's probably the first person that would come to mind. I'm trying to think like who else it would even be that's like tall and skinny like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Fuck that. Dude, no way. I would I would love that. I, not because I yeah. want to hit anybody. I, I would just love to get my ass beat. Yeah. yeah, because I, I deserve it for my bad takes. Uh-huh. I think I think me getting my ass beat on the internet would do me a lot of good. I was trying to think who I would possibly want to fight. Uh, first came to mind. I would love to box at me. I would just be dead. I would just be dead. Yeah, something like that. I would I would love to box his oil. <laughs> okay, I think that'd be fucking awesome. Just like two really tall dudes. I think he would kill you. Yeah, yeah I think Tech would easily beat Zoil. Really? Yeah, easily. No, well, maybe I we have to see it, man. Yeah, I, it would not even be close. I don't think. I would. I would just. I would love it. Because plus, plus, I, I would. I would love to fight either someone who I respected, which is Oil, or someone who I actually despise. Uh, speaking of which, I would love to fight anybody from the Genja community who isn't M Tashed. That would be fucking awesome. You know, I'll, <laughs> I, I'll fight them all, bro. I would love that shit. That At would the be same so time. Co- yes, yeah, that <laughs> would be so cool. Oh fuck! It just it gets those events like those. Like what was it? Uh, Creator Clash got me pumped out of my mind, and also uh, the Game Expo we did. Yeah, that's also one of my favorite events. I think those always go so well. Really? Yeah, and then uh, as well as the thing I wanted to talk to Emmy, the PowerPoint streams you do. Oh yeah, those make me so happy. <laughs> yeah, I love doing those. They're pretty fun. What did you, what'd you think? Well, of I was in your chat one? complaining about them. You were? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nick was there, too. And Miz. I came late. Everyone was watching and complaining. I <laughs> haven't seen the early parts. I only saw... <laughs> I only saw the part where I was in it, and then I left. Sick. Oh, you, were <laughs> in, you were in a lot of it, so yeah. you, you missed a lot. Oh, God. I'm going to go back and review it when I go live you later. You have to watch the YouTube video. Yeah. yeah. If you want the actual PowerPoint, I can just send mm-hmm. that to you, unless you want to react to it. So, oh, so what, are the, what are the general takeaways that you can give us the scoop of? Like, how are people feeling about us? People feel like you mean like the chatters or like among each other because like the I, chatters. Who's okay? The so biggest? first of all, I named it Drama Edition as a joke. I was yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna ask questions that are a little bit more like a, a little bit more aggressive or a little bit more like might make some people mad. Some people were actually like, there there was drama, but um, in Wait, terms really? of there the, was drama. Thank God. What, what nah, not really. I'm, I'm exaggerating. Oh, okay. But. Um, in terms of the community, like, none of the answers really surprised me because the chatters kind of just vote on, like, what we say about each other. Mm-hmm. Like, some ones that are just obvious, like, um, who has, like, the best style or whatever, like, Seer. But other ones that are, like, who's the worst with money, it's just based off, like, what we say on stream. It's, like, what we vote for might be different because we actually know each other. But chatters will be like, oh, well, Tectone took out a loan. Mizkip took out a loan, so we're going to vote for them. Like that. Yeah, right. I actually think I'm very good with money, but ironically. I mean, are you good? I'm just choking went, on water. And we got the wrong hole, brother. <laughs> I, uh, I, I mean, I, I try to be good with money. I had to pay my taxes recently. That was not good. How'd that go? It was, uh, it went down. Yep. You know, I don't think anyone in OTK is bad with money. It. The question is just who's worst with money. Yeah. Uh, is there anybody you think was done dirty? Or do you think there was anybody about chat that they had a wrong perception of? Um, that sticks out in your head. That they had a wrong perception of. Yeah, do you think you ever think, Chad, why did you do that? Or like, Chad, you really think you know, but you don't know. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, so one of the questions was, um, so I, I asked OTK, like, who do you think if we weren't streamers, so like if we were like co-workers somewhere else or like went to school together, who do you think you would have been most likely to still be friends with? Mm. And uh, for the chatters part of that, I've asked them a different question. Like if, if we weren't streamers and you just met us randomly in real life, who do you think like would have been most likely to be your friend? Uh, Asmin, you got the second least votes. That's crazy. Of course, because people would never expect to see me outside my house. That's actually true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. No, it, it, it's ironic. Like, I, I'm usually, like, I, I get along with pretty much everybody, but yeah. I've made it very clear that if somebody talks to me in real life, my goal at this current point is to end the conversation. That's what my goal is. I just want to end the conversation. I want to get back to the house and move on. That's yeah, that and so sense. yeah, I don't. I I, I they're, maybe they're not wrong. Who was the worst though? The worst? Yeah. Who do you think what your you, chat hated you the most? Who I think my based chat on the, hated based on their polls. You think your chat is a negative Seems bias? Like me. I don't think they hated anybody. Really? No. Good. I think your chat's actually very good. I think I think you have a very friendly chat. Well, I mean, most of my chats just like a like a mixing pool of other people's chats. Like, I mean, obviously, it's like disproportional other chats like there's a lot of people from like Miz or Asmins compared to others yeah but I mean it's just people that are just like friendly and like collab stuff mm. so cool well I think that's everything that we have to talk about today no I feel uh, like we've got to wrap it up with our well, well, well yeah we'll wrap it up but yeah. who got the least amount of votes for who they'd be friends with in real life oh tips oh I guess people don't know him he doesn't stream and so yeah, yeah it makes yeah. sense so I'm basically, wow, that is impressive. Holy shit. Yeah, Thank I, you, guys. I'm, actually, I'm excited to see your reaction to that. You want me to send you the actual slides? Oh, no, I, I will watch your YouTube video. It's easier <laughs> for right, me. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, all right. Well, great. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm oh, wait, not surprised. Before we go, I want to say, uh, so I announced it today. I'm doing my third cosplay contest. This time the prize pool is $50,000. When's if it going to be? When's it going to be? It's going to be May 20th on my stream. The deadline to submit is May 17th. If you want to read more about that, you can go to my Twitter or my Reddit. And yeah, we're doing that. Well, if you want to so, judge again, let me know. Hell yeah. And I'll be around. And uh, we have one comment on our Apple podcast uh, for the week, which was sent in by Enhancenate. Title of the comment is Deceit by Design. Happiness is your reward. Five star review. This podcast has nothing to do with steak or eggs, but it's still found a way to be muy importante. I feel duped, but I'm not even mad. I found the podcast of my dreams. That's cute. Oh, sweet. Wow. It's poetic. Yeah. It's like I got some French in there, some kind of shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah it's some some fucking, French I know it ain't American. I tell you that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. As always, make sure to uh, like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, thank you all for all the support. And uh, I guess we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Peace. Bye.